So now let's make our web server feed pages from the assets folder. And I'm going to go back here and instead of just always returning the success, I'm going to have an if statement. So if URL rec dot path name dot substring starting from character zero up through and then I want to figure that out is equal equal to slash images slash so there's one two three four five six seven eight characters there so zero eight characters long so if the URL starts with slash images then I'm going to take the substring after that slash and add asset slash to it and then feed that page. So let's call that serve page and then asset slash let's make these single quotes too plus Earl rec dot path name dot substring starting from the eighth character and then I also have to pass in the response object so that I have somewhere to feed the page to and then let's go ahead and define that function up here And it's going to take a URL, actually it'll take a path, and a response object. And the first thing we want to do is create a file stream to stream from the page. And we're going to need the FS module for that. And so we'll create a stream. give it the path and then we want to add a error handler for the stream in case the file isn't found and in the case that the file isn't found what we want to do is response.writehead that the status is 404 and also pass content type is text slash HTML let's go ahead and change those all to single quotes as well and then we're gonna write an HTML document put this in an external file that actually might be a good thing to do but for now I'll just do this
I'm still using double quotes, but... Okay, so there's our response if the file was not found. And then if we get data, We're going to response.write the chunk. And when we hit the end, we're going to close our response. So here, if we haven't found anything, then we also want to write our error message. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this whole thing a function that just takes a response object. And in here, I'm going to console.log error, and then I'm going to call file not found, pass in the response. And then here, if they type anything that doesn't start with slash images, slash is the path, we're also going to call file not found response. So let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm going to stop the old server and restart it. All right, so now I have an error in the require module that uh, FS was not found, basically. Let's make sure that's it. Oh, put single quotes around that. So now it's working. So reload. Now we get a file not found error. And if I say images slash file not found, make sure it's still working. So we got a crash here. Cannot read property substring of undefined. So it's not path name, it's path name lowercase. Path name. Okay, so found that found and it's still running. And we got a error, couldn't find the directory. So let's go ahead and try finding a file that does exist. There, okay, so that's mine. Now, if I go to the network tab, you'll see that all these files are getting served as text slash plain. And uh, generally speaking, Chrome is smart enough to do the right thing, but it's better if we supply the right MIME type here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use the MIME package.
And this will probably cause an error because I haven't downloaded that module into this project yet. So we'll see what that looks like. And uh, here, I'm going to add response dot write add two hundred and then content type colon and then mime dot lookup path. So let's see what we get now. Oh, I have to stop the server and restart it. So I can't find the module MIME, so I'm going to install it. There it is. Let me make this a little smaller here. So now it works. Reload. So now these files are getting served with the proper MIME type text slash html, text slash css, application slash javascript, and so on. Now, the one problem we have here is list images.php. This just gets served as basically text. It doesn't actually get executed because we don't have PHP built into our server. So we're going to have to write our own code to handle those requests. But it looks like everything else is working properly. Let's just do one other thing. You'll notice that all these requests are pretty long and we don't really need this information. So I'm going to make my log messages a little more useful. And uh, here in my create server, whenever I get a request, instead of logging URL rack, instead I'm going to log request method base request URL. So just one line so far. And then restart this and reload. Works the same, but this is a little more reasonable in terms of log output.